everybody. My name is Tanaji, and they hate you all. With that, let's begin. I'm going to be scared. So here we are waking up. I will tell you, watch PewDiePie playlist, seen how the story knows how to solve every single puzzle. First of all, by talking to this kitty. Yo, you up, man? Eh? Human shouldn't be at it. Too dangerous. Save, son. The way is brought by a startlingly huge patch of roses. Oh, oh yeah, son. Take it. Got a machete. Using items. So you can dash like this. So. So to use items, you press X. Item machete. Courage. Can't even make a dent in them. Letter. Food. Why if you go to a house but stay over in the house? Hope to see you soon, Dad. So this isn't a great start. Can I cut these roses? I can. Can't even see it, that's how violent I'm cutting up these roses. The way is clear, the machete broke. Was it made out of glass or what? Wasn't a very good machete. Huh? What is it? Hmm. So the way out is blocked by roses. You gonna go in? Well as well if you can't leave. Save. Here we go, dramatic cutscene is dramatic. Okay, here we are, it's the darkened physics. The candle flames sway curiously. Wait, don't step on the blood patch. Come to my room. Yeah, I decided to follow a few last. Instantly, where the heck did you come from? Here we are then, first puzzle. I think I'll do it how the designer wants me to do it, which is... The basket has a big teddy bear, there's a little bit of room left. Bears in a basket. A large clock, time marches on. Well, if you have me, that's all he's getting. The teddy bear is against the purpose, and take the teddy bear. Got a teddy bear. Oh, god damn it. Opens when the house returns to normal. It won't open. Artificial flowers are on the desk. It's not lit. Which is direct read. I was sick, so no one played with me. My father and my mother didn't love me. Well, you're a bitch. And I'm trying not to remake really all the jokes. Maybe it's maybe it's maybe it's because you're so bad at writing your diary that you wrote two pages in this one and a few more in the other one down the stairs. Right, so let's go put the teddy bear in the basket. The limbs are too big. The limbs make the bear too big to fit, I think that's said. This person is on the bench. Take. Let's head to the bench. Cut off bear's limbs. There. You cut off the bear's limbs. Got a teddy bear torso. There are bloody scissors on the workbench. Limbless teddy bear, it's where those limbs used to be. Dusty old dress on the inside. It's locked. Teddy bear, I did nothing wrong. Nothing. Got it? Lights out. Right then, I am nervous as hell. The box is too. There's a little bit of room left. Put in the mask here. And then lock myself somewhere. I swear I saw a move. No pull. I can't believe this is a pull right now. God damn, I hate you. 
Let me jump. I hate you all. Everybody. I hate everybody. Everybody in the world. Okay. Alright then, here we go. It's time for the teddy bear. Let's go. What the hell is that? Teddy bear's limbs on the ground. Take them. Put the teddy bear limbs. The door opened. Now this is making me really scared. Jeez, you freaked me out. Don't come out of nowhere like that. Wine bottles are lined up on the shelf. A fireplace? Look inside. Nothing but so. What would there be in a fireplace? The cook is busy. Lend a hand. Well, there's a rat. Squish it. There's another rat. Squish it. A book is like a dining for aristocrats. People of ruling and wealthy classes have long enjoyed dining with silverware. By using such hard to clean cutlery, they could hire servants to demonstrate their wealth. In addition, silver utensils changed color on contact, upon contact with poison, making them quite useful. There's someone invisible there, talk. Oh, I'm busy, so busy, lend a hand, do nothing. You don't want to lend a hand, he will kill you, you want to lend the teddy bear hands. Oh, thank you, I was in need of a hand or two. Let me show you my appreciation. Now we get a silver key. Can you open the door? Of course we can't open the door with the key. Why would we open a door of a key? That bottle's lined up on the shelf. Taste poison. Don't really want to taste poison if that's okay with you. Fixed to the floor. Don't drink it. Thank you! Hit bowl with key. It makes a pleasing sound, put key in soup. Dot, dot. The key turns black in the soup. Go an unlocking sound somewhere. A fireplace. I hate this. I hate this entire game. The chef's gone. Of course the chef's gone. The door opened. Of course there's some sort of creepy looking. There's a black door there. A decorative cat ornament. Gotcha. An armored figure of a spear. Move at any moment. A vase of roses. Now then, I kind of want to get killed by this, but I don't, so let's just do it. It's dark and I want to be able to read that note, so I should push it downwards. The spider has poor eyes, he can't even tell colours apart. There's a piece of rope in the barrel. Take. You got some rope. I want to go save. Not get killed. Oh, come on. We don't need the scarily intensifying music to back this up, do we? Really? Look, let's go. Residence burns down. Blank and his wife Blank not found dead in the wreckage. Their bodies to have stab prison. Murdered and the building set away. Additionally exist of guys of prison since the fire. The police. My name is Viola. It's not Ellen. A book titled A Funny Story. We need a funny story. Once upon a time there was a rich man pulling a cart along full of treasure. 
His cart had broken down in the woods. But there came a passing hunter and his dog. The rich man pleaded to the hunter to keep a close eye on his cart, to which the hunter agreed. The rich man went out to get a new cart. Meanwhile, the hunter kept watched. Night soon fell, and the hunter grew old for his elderly mother, Sue, still at home. So the hunter told the dog to watch the cart and went home to check on his mother. When the man returned, he saw the dog on guard. He gave the dog a reward for his master, a silver coin to carry in his mouth. The dog went all the way home and brought his master the coin. But the hunter flew into a rage. I told you to watch the cart, and what did you do? You stole from it. So the master killed the dog. That was not a funny story! God damn you. The witch's house won. Keys do not open doors in the witch's house. Something else must serve as a key. Four of those changes based upon the witch's magic. A vase of roses. There's something invisible there. Suddenly this person is going, we need something to tie them together. Well, why don't you have this rope? Ah, you're giving me this? Thank you. Take this. You got a book of death. How deadly. That didn't scare me. Right, now I have to go into uh, the scariest room. And uh, put away the Book of Death. Which I don't want to do. Okay. I, uh, I don't remember that. It's a human head, the case is scar. So that's where it comes from. God damn it. Book of Death. Don't bloody read it. Put the book on the shelf. Right, so here we go. The human head is going to kill us. Right now. And I am going to die and be very scared. Let's go. Jesus Christ, yep, it's killed me. <laughs> That was my 15 minute run through the witch's house. So thank you for watching and I will see you later. Goodbye. I'm going to need a lot, a lot of inner to recover. <laughs>